hello and I have another story for you. This is called Winnie the Pooh and the Sweetest Christmas. And this is Scarlet's Mommy again. And this is what the name of the book is that I'm reading from. And this is Pooh's Sweetest Christmas. Now I'm going to turn on the camera light so we can see. One snowy Christmas Eve, Winnie the Pooh had set up a Christmas tree in his living room. It was decorated with some candles and honey pots, and Pooh looked at the tree and tapped his head. Something seems to be missing, he said. Suddenly, a knock startled Pooh. When Pooh opened the door, he found a small snowman on his front step. Hello, Pooh Bear. The snowman, the snowman said. His voice sounded very familiar. Pooh invited the snowman inside. After standing by the fire, the snowman began to melt. He started to look like Piglet. Piglet saw Pooh's glowing Christmas tree. Are you going to string popcorn for your tree? Piglet asked. There was popcorn and string, Pooh said, but now there's only one string. Pooh wondered if popcorn was what he'd forgotten, but that wasn't. Then we can use the string to wrap the presents you're giving, Piglet said. I forgot to get presents, Pooh explained. Soon it was time for Piglet to leave. Pooh stood beside his tree and thought about the presents he had forgotten. Then he had an idea. He still didn't know what to do about the presents, but he knew where to find help. Hello, Pooh called as he knocked on Christopher Robin's door. Come in, Pooh Bear, Christopher Robin said. Merry Christmas. Why do you look so sad? Christopher Robin Pooh said, What if someone forgot to find presents for his friends? Christopher Robin gave Pooh stockings for each of his friends. You can put their gifts in here, he said. Pooh hurried off to deliver the stockings to his friends. As he walked through the hundred-acre wood, he thought about the presents he still needed for the stockings, who stopped at each friend's house. He quietly hung the stockings where his friends would find them. Each one had a tag that read, From Pooh. When Pooh got back to his house, he climbed into his cozy chair. Now I must think of presents for my friends, he said. Before he knew it, he was fast asleep. The next morning, Pooh awoke to a loud thumping noise. He climbed out of the chair and opened the door. Merry Christmas, Pooh, his friends cried. All his friends were carrying the stockings from Pooh. Pooh realized he had fallen asleep before giving presents to his friends. Then Pooh realized they were all thanking him for their gifts. No more cold ears in the morning with my new cat, Piglet said. All Pooh's friends have found their stockings quite useful. Pooh looked at his friends, and they were very happy. With their stockings, even though there weren't any presents in them. Something very nice is going on, Pooh said. It's very nice, Pooh Bear, Piglet said. It's called Christmas, Buddy Bear, Tigger said, and he patted Pooh on the back. Pooh watched in surprise as each of his friends presented him with honey pot. With a honey pot. I don't know what to say, Pooh told his friends. He was thrilled by their gifts. Honey was his favorite treat. 
Christmas is a wonderful holiday, a rabbit said, especially when you have good friends to share it with. I don't know what to say. That's what the poo said. Yep, Tigger agreed, but I know how we can make the day even sweeter. He looked at the honey pot in Pooh's hands. An idea tickled at Pooh's brain. Let's all have lunch together, Pooh said. He passed out the honey pots his friends had just given him. Oh, that was cute. And that was that story. From this book, my first bedtime storybook. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll be reading this one called Minnie Saves Christmas. So I'll read that one in just a minute. But I hope you enjoyed these. Have a wonderful Christmas. And you can listen to these stories anytime you want to. It doesn't even have to be Christmas. But I hope you enjoyed them. Have a wonderful, blessed day.